are you excited? We're so excited to see our neighborhood for our first time. You were rocking it. My Spanish is so broken. Today is our very first day in Puerto Rico and it is beautiful. The weather is so nice out. Everybody slept really well last night. To be honest, there's been quite the emotions at our house today. I don't know if it's jet lag or if it's just the emotions of moving. There's been some sadness, some grumpiness, some excitement. So it's kind of like all over the place. Everything is new and fun, but even new and fun emotions can be overwhelming, especially for little people or big people. My favorite moment so far this morning was Elise at breakfast. She was sitting at the breakfast table and she said, Mom, Puerto Rico is so beautiful. I didn't notice last night when we came in when it was dark. And it's true. We flew in and drove all the way to our house in the dark. And so the kids haven't really seen all the beauty that's around us. Our backyard, it's been fun to see the kids playing and exploring the house this morning. There's lots to do, lots of unpacking. As I'm unpacking, I'm finding some stuff I didn't mean to bring. And I'm finding that we're missing some stuff that I really wanted to bring. I'm a perfectionist and I really wanted to start off today on the really right foot. But moving is just messy and that's real life. So in spite of some of the rough moments this morning, I think we're gonna have a really great day because I'm going to choose to. I'm not really good at making waves. <laughs> Here. You drew mom a picture? Mm-hmm. What's it up? Um, the Redwood Forest in San Francisco. How fun. So when you walk in, you see my bedroom, my hat, and then you see Laura's. <laughs> Looks like she's the clean one. Okay, Laura, what's going on over here? Are we gonna clean this up? Well, I was just trying to find my toothbrush and <laughs> we just kind of dumped everything out. Yeah. Should we find a place for all this stuff? So me and Caleb were just like passing the football, and then someone walked by, and they're like, "Hola!" And we said that back, and then he said, "Happy New Year." And I was gonna say, "And you," but it, but he had walked by by the time I had even been able to like mumble it. <laughs> but uh, is it fun to have neighbors who are speaking Spanish? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you say good morning? Kind of scary. Good morning in Spanish? Yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. What have you guys been working on? I am meant to tell you about Puerto Rican football. So packing was a lot harder because we had to bring a lot of our homeschool stuff. Now we're going to find a home for it. I love how organized you have everything, Caleb. Mm -hmm. I like organizing my stuff. Nice. You're so good at folding. Did you lay out all your dress ups and swimsuits? I have a special drawer. You have a special drawer? Yes. What do you have? A lizard. Is it real? No, it's not. So the people we're renting from the house from left this lizard here, and the kids have been scaring each other and me with it ever since we arrived. So I was just getting ready to take the kids swimming at our pool here in our community. And the van was dead. We must have left a light on. So I now have to try to figure out how to get it into neutral so that we can back it out and get some help jumping the van. Well, we had hoped to be able to get to meet our neighbors, but we didn't expect to meet them by begging them to help us start our van. Kendra's gonna go try her Spanish. Google Translate. Here's what I got. La batería de nuestro coche dejó de funcionar. Tienes cables para ayudarnos a arreglarlo? I would have thought you were from Puerto Rico. Well, Kendra rocked it. I went over there, we were all over there talking to our neighbor in Spanish. They don't speak any English, which is perfect. We want to learn from them. But you were rocking it. My Spanish is so broken. It is so, I have so much to learn, so much to practice. I am. But Kendra was talking to him about all kinds of stuff. Like we asked for help, but then you told them all about where we were from, how cold it was there, the snow, like you were talking Spanish. I was communicating. I, I was watching. I actually call it Spanish speaking, but I was definitely communicating what was going on. We learned about their family and. Yeah, and they're a nice grandma and grandpa. They had one of their grandkids over there and they're Puerto Rican natives. They've always lived here, so. 
we'll get to know them. And all the kids were there watching, so yes. that was great. That was really neat. We'll have to have them over for dinner and practice a lot more Spanish before we do so we can actually communicate better. So with the car working, we're now going to go show the kids our neighborhood. I'm so excited to see our neighborhood for our first time. Laura, are you excited? Palm trees, palm trees, more palm trees. My dad is showing us the area, like our neighborhood. There's some kids playing out here. Yeah, we're gonna go swimming. Dad just showed me that there's a coconut on the ground and I was shocked. I had no idea they had coconuts. This is starting to become my dream place. I am loving it. You see it? Janae found birds. How does it feel? in the shade and it's a little breezy today so it's a little chilly. And it's 5.30 p.m. Yeah! This girl is great! She wants to go play with them. Get water. Get water. So what are you thinking of cooking in the kitchen? What was that? <laughs> the whoopee cushion. Looks good, it smells good. This is kind of fun how this face is out instead of... It's really nice. Ours is up against the wall at home. You hiding? She's out. You know, sometimes you daydream and you think about how life's gonna be different in a different place. It's not. It's the same. You make dinner, you clean up dinner, you put your kids to bed, you have fun, but... Family ended the evening with a walk out in the neighborhood. Hey, what do you think of the walk? She's tired. The weather is perfect. This I is saw amazing. But my goal was to tire the kids out. I don't think that worked. I think I just energized them more. I'm gonna do it again. I saw my first cookie frog. Cookie. Cookie. Good night. Get us out. Now we're just hoping that the power comes back on soon. I'm nine.